If Shepard can't gain their trust, they're all as good as dead. Hell, it's about time. You asked for it and you voted for it. And I have to admit, I'm really, really impressed that you guys didn't make me do something as horrible as King and Lynch 2. Even though I have to actually admit, I do own that game already. So, you voted for Tropico 3 from today's Steam sale. And here it is, Tropico 3. Absolute power as well. The Steam sale is the pack of Tropico 3 and the expansion. I believe it's £5 on Steam for both. Very, very good deal. Um, Tropico 3 comes with 15 missions. Absolute Power comes with an extra 10. So for that little bit of extra price, you nearly get twice as much missions in the game. And of course, you have the sandbox mode and the challenges and everything else. So, options menu. No simple things in the visuals. Got everything turned up high, of course. General, sound, voice, music. You can invert mouse, subtitles, radio being turned on, good thing. Juanito, you'll see why. Okay. Now, before I go and jump in quickly, also going to show you achievements that you have to try and get. Lots and lots of achievements. With wonderful names as well, like that Let There Be Light, Paradise Island, Coup de Gras, Nephew Sam. We will go ahead and jump in. Now, don't need to do the tutorial, already done that. Let's go classic campaign. I have to do bananas. Bananas. Application of the old Presidente. Aha. Of course you have the wonderful little quotes down in the bottom when it's loading. You have the wonderful music. And I need to select Navatar. Um no. Alright, let's go with let's go with my own. Quickly make one. So I can show you the uh, the avatar customization as well. It's always a good way. What kind of costume do I want? Go pirate. Uh, I think general looks quite good. Generalissimo. Traditional. There we go. Olive, dark, brown, light. Um, let's go with olive. Olive works. Let's give him a hat. There's no president is complete without a hat. Um, is that a hat? Hang on. Oh, I could have sworn I saw Shadow behind him with that hat. There we go. And of course you've got the wonderful hairstyles that you can't see because of the hat. We'll give him some accessories as well. And a beard. Look up. Look up. Come on. There we go. Stop looking at your shoes. And... We will go with Balbo. There we go. Nice and suitable. Now we need a name. Um, with El Jefe. And of course, wonderful list of backgrounds to choose from. Choosing a background affects your character or affects your society, I think you would call it. Anyway. Choosing one of these gives you minus and plus bonuses to things. For example, Pop Singer. All top confections like you more, US loves you, tourism goes up, nightclub service quality goes up. Certain things have good things, bad things, less crime if you're a chief of police. Let's go with self-made man. Factory workers work harder. Capitalists respect you because you got that yourself, and the US likes you as well. And I rose to power through... Being installed by the KGB. Um, military coup. There we go. I love the little thing that I'm running my mouse over now, the description of it. The military coup, basically, I failed so hard so many times that someone felt sorry for me and gave me an island. And qualities. Let's make him charismatic. And another quality, let's make him a patriot. And we've got to give him flaws. So let's make him... 
Um, Tourette and let's make him a, a, let's give him Tourette and make him a religious zealot. So you've got your flaws which give negative things and you have to pick them. Your qualities which give you wonderful things. Rise to power which gives you some bonuses, some negatives. And background which is normally all positives. And we are jumping into the game. Okay, and there you go. There's the chick on the radio. She came with absolute power, actually. Juanito, the guy that she referenced, he's from the original game. He's the radio presenter, and he's amazing. The chick takes the other stance and is more Viva la Revolution, whereas Juanito is We All Bow Before El Presidente. I personally prefer Juanito, but you never know. You may like one or the other. Okay, so my first action is to build two farms. A build menu. This farm near Fertile Green area. So, zoom in and out with the mouse, which is rather laggy when you get further out. Whoa, look at that FPS drop. But then it is trying to render a wonderfully large amount of stuff. Okay, and can I scroll? Right, I can scroll with arrow keys. I can zoom in and out with middle mouse. Right clicking does things, middle mouse held down. Rotates the camera. And I'm just wondering if there is an option in the menu of me being able to get rid of this chick and get Anito back. No. Okay, so there's me. I can actually. The one great thing about this game is that you can move around you. So if I click me, I can move him. And wherever I go, I will cause better things to happen. So, oh, wrong button. Now, we need to build farms, apparently. And it gives me suggestions of what else I should build as well, because people don't have anywhere to live. So they're living in these tiny little shacks, which are really bad for your island. Okay. If you hadn't already guessed, the game is essentially Transport Tycoon on a Cuban island with Mexicans. That is the game at its peak. And it's filled with wonderful humor and other little things. And I can't figure out where I need. Because I need to click a Teamsters office. Do I have one already? I do have a Teamsters office. And I do have a sweatshop. And my workers are randomly walking around. So, let's build road. Road is always good. Uh, no, I don't want dirt road. Okay. Uh, right click to cancel, there we go, and right click again. How do I... Stop doing that! What are you doing? No! I don't want to build... Stop that! Oh, there we go. Okay. Fair enough. Um... Hold shift preform on placement. Apparently it just doesn't want to build anywhere down there. So let's take our road over this way. Some wonderful green areas there that we're just going to absolutely destroy and just build a road straight through it. So you hold left click to hold left click, hold left mouse to build a road. And now we have our road. We can go ahead and build our farms and we need to build bananas. So we click the little banana button. And we can see this wonderful green area here. Building over here, of course, bad because of the red. Building here, wonderful and green. But unfortunately, we don't have our road yet. All we do, it's just still dirt. Hey, dirt will do for now. We can still build our farm. Right. So, we go ahead and build one there. And we'll build one the other side of the road as well. Okay. Right, there are our two farms. Now, the difference between this game and, say, Transport Tycoon 
would be that these farms are going to take a while to build. And unfortunately, I have to wait. Oh, hang on. Uh, multinational food conglomerate has offered to send us some of its specialists to help with homes. Okay. So there's a little truck here. Build my Teamsters. And these Teamsters are going to come and start working on stuff. There you go. Unfortunately, building in this game takes such a long while because they're slow and lazy. And I'm going to try and avoid making any racist comments because if I do, I know I'm going to horribly offend someone. So, I will avoid them at all costs. Now, while my guys are building these, little Mr. Me, where am I? Ah, I'm visiting someone's house. I'm apparently kissing babies and having affairs. Yes, apparently having affairs, the way I just ran out of there and a woman followed me. Oh well, Presidente, you hound dog. Right, so if he heads over to this construction site, these guys will build faster. Also, these guys are completely putting me to shame, and one guy has already built an entire farm. And is now starting work on the second one. It's just one guy there doing the work. Oh, here come more. So, while they're building this, and you can merely just stand here and watch El Presidente cheer them on. The game is made by Heimemont, if I'm pronouncing that rightly, Heimemont Games. They're a small European company. They're making Tropico 4 as well. They developed the game. It was published by Calypso Media, spelled with a K, not a C. Which is a wonderfully fitting name for this game and the music. Dancing along to the music while my work is built. Okay, so we have our two farms, and we're now required to build some houses, I believe. Yes, houses. It will keep giving you suggestions of things to build. Unfortunately, don't always listen to them. If you listen to everything it tells you to build, you'll go bankrupt very, very quickly. So, let's build some houses. You can choose, of course, extra options for your houses. And if you hover over them, it will tell you what they do. Maintenance can half, housing quality is lowered. If you build two low quality houses, they will complain. Let's get one there. And let's get another one right next to it. There we go. And they're happily building away. Our Teamster is coming over. Three are left again with no exports. How it works is the farms will build or make whatever you tell them to out of the list. Bananas, tobacco, everything. And you can like mine ore and things which would be over here and everything that you make gets exported off the island by a little boat that you see sailing away. Now unfortunately are my workers going to build these? Yes they are. Wonderful. And so you export and you make money, your island stays profitable. If your island doesn't stay profitable, you end up taking out loans with America and the Russians, and if you end up pissing them off too much, they sail around your island in big boats and, well, take over. And then you get military coups, and then you get assassinated, and it's all wonderfully fun and chaotic. But to help you try and become awesome at being El Presidente, you have these wonderful things here, such as ideology book will respect you more stupid people you can have a TV show called Hola Presidente you can print money oh and you can shoot Juanito although we don't seem to have Juanito so no point in shooting him you can declare martial law you can have secret police you can run away to Florida oh no you expel prisoners to Florida you can request aid you can test nukes of course, each of these things also comes with bad things. Nothing is without its price. If, for example, you go up to Florida, expels all prisoners, lowers the respect of the US because, well, you're flooding Florida with criminals. And bananas prefer higher altitudes. Next harvest is expected in seven months. So we have seven months of our farms not producing anything. And our teamsters are being exceptionally lazy and not making any work on those buildings at all. 
Let's go and we can, while we're doing this, we can, if I can remember how to do it. I think we need the road, yes, demolish, there we go. We can demolish these little shacks that everyone is living in. Because they're just unsightly. A high official reported missing last week was found with his mistress trying to leave the island. The resulting clash between the official's wife and his mistress left seven bystanders injured. The official is reported missing again. And there is the wonderful Juanito, who is fantastic and makes the game truly worth buying. Even if you buy it for nothing else, buy it just to simply listen to Juanito randomly talk bollocks. Okay, our farms are still building things. Our bananas are coming along nicely. Our lazy workers are still being lazy. And it suggests we build a logging camp. Okay, why is it suggested we build a logging camp? All they will do is cut down wood. We need a garage, don't we? We don't have one? Do we? No. A garage will give our teamsters cars. Let's go and build it over here somewhere. Can we somewhere? No. Can't build it here. Can we build it here? No, no, no. Yes! Victory to the glorious El Presidente. A ship is docked bringing immigrants to my island. Our freighter has left with nothing on board. And here come the immigrants. Doobidoo. Setting up shacks on my beach. Son of a bitch. No. No shack for you. Stop that! Goddamn cockroaches. Ah, oh, more shacks! If the workers would build houses, you guys wouldn't need shacks. Where's El Presidente? Having more affairs. Okay, head over. Uh, no, we don't want to lock fruit prices for 10 years because we'll end up going bankrupt. Come on. Don't get hit by a car. There we go. So the rent is one. And now that El Presidente is watching, the workers are actually building things. Zoom in. We can see them kind of doing things. Not really. And if I click on any of these random people, it will actually tell me about them. See, we are now looking at Ernesto Hernandez, a farmer. He's happy with everything, apart from the fact that they have not got much liberty. Housing quality is okay, he's happy with the pay, he doesn't support any factions. Oh no, he does. He's the leader of the environmentalists. He has parents, Donatio Hernandez and Terestia Hernandez, and his thoughts are, I need to confess my sins, but there is no church. We can make a church for him, I think. Should we make a church? Nope, that's a pub. I'll do, right? He can confess his sins to alcohol. Can't zoom out. Oh yeah, because when you have a building selected, the mouse wheel doesn't zoom. It just rotates the building. So there we go. Do 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 do. Comrades, according to my ever trustworthy sources, the people on the island are growing restless and unhappy. It took them quite some time to realize that El Presidente is one big pompous fool and a phony. But better late than never. Rise, proletarians! Rise and stalk the enemies of the people with your dirty working boots! Wow, she really doesn't like me. A chick needs to get laid. Okay, so she's pissed that we don't have a church. And personally, I really miss Juanito. He always supports me in my time of need, but this chick just seems to hate on me constantly. So, if they're not happy with the pub I just built them, let's build the church. See, I'm kind to these people. I build them a church down by the beach. They can convert and confess their sins under the moonlight, on the beach, with the ocean right there. Our bananas aren't growing at all. And this game is slow, by the way. Levels take forever. Can we... Bananas... Ah, building a... Banana thing over here is quite good, apparently. Should we build one 
we build one there, then we can run the road past it, can't we? Like, so. There we go. Look at that. We appear to be making money, but how's our goals? Where are they? Um, people, no, score, there we go, mission objective, goal is to get at least 8,000 export, and I haven't explored anything yet. Make use of the gringos to secure your financial future, by that of course it means the Americans and the Russians. Some people are peacefully protesting against the government. By peacefully protesting you mean one person. Now, if I remember rightly, wrong button, the American Today and Tomorrow magazine has named us the worst place to live. So I'm doing terribly. And... Is he complaining about hospital? Intelligence, poor, courage, above average, leadership, below average. Housing. He's happy. Everyone on the island is at least happy, apart from the fact that four of them just died through poor healthcare. But if they're dead, they can't be unhappy, right? I'm not doing that badly as being a president. You guys would move to my island, yeah? You guys would move here? Teamsters being dropped off. Freight left with no exports again. I don't want to build that. I want to build actual proper road. Why won't you let me build a road? Fine. Oh god, those shacks. Go away. Pesky. Homes. I think that's all of them? No. Some living behind the farms. Stop that! You cannot have a house! Okay. I think we've got the population happy, sort of. I think... Everything seems to be going well. The bananas are growing. The bananas will get exported soon. And then we should have money. Again, I hope. Uh... Let's build the logging camp like they asked. Selective harvest is spare half the trees, also decreases pollution. No, let's just click up. Um, right, put the logging camp there. I think I've just destroyed my bananas. I'm not going to make a banana pun. We need to is right. The beach is wonderful. Look. The Russians and the Americans are still supporting us. The militarist faction is worried that our army is too small. We need at least two more soldiers to appease them. Unfortunately, I don't think I can... No. Okay. Let's like... I keep clicking menu by mistake. That button's really annoying. I'm visiting a farm. Okay. Let's... Um... Let's do something. Let's do something good for the people. Unfortunately, I can't do same-sex marriages. I can ban contraception. Um, got to be something here that we can do. Ah, oh, Mardi Gras. Uh, yeah, let, let's have Mardi Gras. Let's sponsor a Fat Tuesday party to raise the people's spirits. Yes, activate Mardi Gras. And if we're going to have Mardi Gras, we need a hospital, because otherwise everyone will... So let's build a clinic. No, there's a farm there. Build a clinic. Can we build it? There. There we go. Excellent. So people can now come to my island, get drunk, get liver damage, and we have a clinic to be able to heal them. Our bananas are growing nicely. But unfortunately, we still don't seem to be producing anything. We have 38% happiness. 
Eight new immigrants have just turned up. Export bananas. Come on. Look, look at all these bananas. They're all here. Export them. Today I was visited by my dear friend, CEO of the Fruits of Limited. He's going to give us financial aid. We can have one free garage, one free church, or one free clinic. Or I can take care of the grant and just steal it. Let's bank that. Of course, this is something else in the game. You have your Swiss bank account. Aha, we're exporting things finally. There you go, some wonderful conspiracies already. The CIA is responsible for me being in office, and apparently I'm going somewhere. We lack educated workforce. Hire foreign specialists. Export tip. Some people are peacefully protesting. Again. Okay, now... Almanac, there we go. So, I've started to export, and I'm exporting 700 now. And I swear there was actually an option in the game that I could have someone assassinated. I can't remember where it is. I swear there's an option to have someone assassinated. Yes, there is. There we go. I can assassinate people. Of course, family will, will become outraged to this. But I was going to kill the protesters, however they seem to have disappeared. Let's pick someone to assassinate. Apparently we have no schools, so everyone is dumb. Is that religious communist? Leader of the communists. Another communist loyalist. Nationalist. I want to shoot someone. The ship is docked. Are we close to finishing this? I would like to finish this level. 13,000 tropical goods this time. And go back to our score. We're nearly there. So I'll let this just run quickly. Build some more things. Building things. Things are good. Why not? Right. Let's actually show you some more of the buildings we can get. So, Childhood Museum, El Presidente. This is TNT, and I am Juanito. Several intellectuals have pointed out that the children of Tropico are uneducated and can barely read or write. Concerned for the future of the island, they demand the construction of a new high school. Yes. Juanito being awesome, as always. So, I can build a statue of Christ the Saviour if I want, which will cause religious people to come to us. Or I can build a golden statue, which is essentially a giant gold statue of me. Oh, there they are. There are the people protesting. Look at them. They're peacefully protesting. I say peacefully protesting. He was. And he's protesting as well. Okay, so there you go. This is going to take ages for me to actually complete this. So, no one can actually run the church. By the way, means there's no one qualified to run it. Same there. Our farms are going well. Some people are protesting, so I fail at doing anything. Bonus objectives being thrown my way. Ask me to build a clinic. Oh no, that was what I had suggested. There we go, apartment blocks now for more people. So, Tropico 3. 25 missions in total over the original game and Absolute Power. Absolute Power adds more buildings, other things in. It's great. You've got random events happen. You've got bonus objectives. You've got Juanito keeping you company all the time, who is fantastic. The islands are huge. I mean, this is just one level. 
and I have all this that I can work with and I have all these different things that I can build going through the options here and I have all these fun little things that I can do like make the maniac stuff domestic policies economy foreign policy social so if you like political management games if you like business style management games um, think Transport Tycoon, but with Mexicans, is the only way I can describe this. That is essentially what you're getting for £5 at the moment on Steam. I would recommend this game, I love this game. It's one of the games that I play a fair amount. I suck terribly at it, but it's a good little game, and it'll keep you entertained for very, very much worthwhile £5. So, there you go, 30 minutes of Tropico, done, sorted, brilliant. Don't forget, there's another sale tomorrow, another 24 hour sale, of course, and I will be doing voting again. It starts just when the sale starts, 6 p.m. UK time, 7 Europe, and random times in the US, depending on where you are, I think it's 10 Pacific time and like 1 p.m. Eastern. I think if I got those wrong, let me know. If you liked it, like, if you liked me, subscribe. If you hated it, yell at me in comments, because that works well. So this is me saying goodbye and I'm sure Juanito would if he could and before I go I'm just very quickly going to destroy those people's lives they don't deserve to have houses you should be homeless stop building stuff on my island get out you lazy lazy miserable bastards there we go I have purged them and the sun is setting on a wonderful wonderful game of Tropico